Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from the Midnight Garage. This is my Honda Shuttle. I'm working on it for a future video. But the most important thing you should know right now is that it's incredibly beat up. Now, this being 2020 and me having my priorities set extremely straight, what do you think is the first thing we are going to do? If you said installing random luxury electronic items, you'd be completely right. So in this video, we are going to install an automatic lighting system and see if it works. Let's uh, start by opening the box. So what do we got? Let's check out the box. What kind of cool stuff do we have in here? First up, some instruction manuals. Okay. And then a nice little box inside the box with some cables. I'm assuming this is the sensor. Some bigger cables and the control unit. So we are going to start with the sensor. This sensor basically senses if it's light or dark outside and if I should be having the headlights turned on or off. I'm going to install this in the middle of the top of the windscreen right well basically in front of the rear view mirror and that's mainly because that's the place where i usually see these sensors installed so i got the wiring all set up and since it's about this long i figured that this location right here would be a perfect location for the control unit. Next up, we're going to install this set of wires. The black wire is supposed to be connected to a ground, obviously, and the red one is supposed to be connected to anywhere where there's power as soon as the car's running. So ground is easy, just anywhere with the bolt, but for the ignition too, I'm going to pick an easy location as well because most fuse boxes have some added slots for some optional extras, like you can see right here and some of them are ignition two so the only thing i need is to use a multimeter and just see which one is ignition two and then use that and then finally we have this bunch of wires now this looks like a lot but fortunately i'm driving around in a dinosaur without a canvas system so for me it's pretty easy the red wire needs to be connected directly to the battery the green wire needs to be connected to the headlights and the blue wire needs to be connected to basically everything else. So the city lights and the tail lights and the license plate lights and stuff. I have just disconnected the light switch and the plug is right here. And if you look closely, you can see the red and green wire on this side. And you can see the red and white wire on this side. So if I'm correct, I need to hook up the green and blue wire to these two wires. And then the system should work. So let's test it out. I'm going to start the car, then put my hand on the sensor, see if the lights turn on, then I'm going to put my hand off the sensor, and then we'll just wait and see if the sensor turns off. So, currently it's off, time to uh, test it out. looks like it's on to me now just uh, wait a few moments I believe the period for it to turn off is 20 seconds and as you can see it just turned off so uh, that works very nice now the next thing to do is uh, this and that is cleaning everything up tucking all the wires and putting the interior panels back and after that we are done so i've been driving around for a week now and i must say that i'm pretty impressed with uh, the whole setup um, the headlights turn on a little bit sooner than i would have turned them on myself but hey that's pretty safe i think and also i really like how the headlights turn on when you go into a tunnel and then turn off automatically so uh, so far so good 
So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Leave a like if you did and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And then hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.